the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hey everybody, I'm back again and we'll continue on with the, the understanding. Just like I told you before, love your neighbors yourself. How do you love yourself? Do you even love yourself? And I guarantee most of you do. <laughs> most of you want to live, most of you want to uh, survive day to day, try to make it through the day so you can try it again the next day. Most of us love ourselves. Uh, Pray it would be a tragedy if you hate yourself, you know, because you got to live with yourself. We may not like some of the things that we feel got shortfalls on. Or we may not like some of the things that we, you know, we always wish we knew better. But it's always needs for improvement, right? So when we say to love the Lord that God with all that heart, with all that soul, all that mind, all that strength, and to love that neighbors and self, the peace is loving yourself and treating others the way you want to be treated. Love others the way you want to be loved. Which is, if they need space, give them space, right? So it's so important for us to to, to remember that love is, is not what the world has been showing us. Because that, that is all jacked up, right? Because you can't sit there and commit adultery and say that you love your spouse. You can't. And sit and say, you know, you put it, well, I guess we call it warped thinking, right? Uh, a twisted version of love when we sit there and say, you know, I do this. In most cases, I do this for a selfish reason. But yet I, I love you that I want to keep you from still being selfish, right? So that, that means that love is really implied about really loving yourself. So, I don't know if you ever thought about that, but do you love yourself? Really think about it. Do you love yourself? And if you love yourself, how? what type of love is it? Right? It, and think about it, it's not the same as how you love and project your love towards somebody else that you love. Think about it, right? You, you have a warm feeling when somebody else is is, is, that you love is in your presence, whether it's a friend or whether it's a spouse or whether it's a parent or whether it's a brother or sister, <laughs> it's a different type of love, isn't it? Think about it. So, so I want you have to ask yourself this question Do you love yourself? And I know you do. I know you do. You, <laughs> you know you do. <laughs> and if you don't, ask yourself why you don't love yourself. And if you don't love yourself, what do you mean? Do you hate yourself? Or you're indifferent to yourself. Those are the kind of questions you gotta look at. Love your neighbor as yourself. That's the focus, right? That's the intent is to remind the body of Christ that you need to love one another. And love one another as you love yourselves. Amen. So how you love yourself, treat everybody else the same way, right? You know, you know, because sometimes you gotta you beat yourself up, right? You do review yourself when you do things that you felt was a dumb mistake, right? Well, just understand, that's how other people may feel too. But the other piece is that it's, 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 when, you, when you say you're disappointed yourself, you don't throw yourself out. You don't reject yourself. You just recognize that I got some issues, I got to fix, I got to work on. And you continue to seek how you can find those those steps of improvement so you can do a great thing. Amen? So that's what I'm going to say. Now, one of the things to remember is that love yourself and love one another. And that's the emphasis I'm trying to do. Remind the Bible Christ we're supposed to love one another. See, like the picture in the back, that's a whole bunch of people, isn't it? And the thing is that those people are coming together, worshiping, focusing, and understanding who God is. And I hope that there's an emphasis on understanding who they are among themselves. That they're children of God and they're supposed to love every last one of them. And most of them do. A lot of cases you go to services, worship services, people 
uh, try to be and uh, polite to one another. And I, and I think that's a good thing. So just remember, if they did love each other, they hate each other, they couldn't be in that type of form, could they? It'd be, a, it'd be chaos. And that's what the enemy likes to do. Even in the political environment today, you got people really talking about uh, hating one another. There's even people, I saw a guy the other day <laughs> on that day, I think I look at TikTok or something. And the guy was saying, uh, blacks, look, call, call me, right? <laughs> blacks need to watch out or, or maybe have a, have a war and they won't come out on the better end. And, and it's funny because the person is equating a civil war or some type of war between blacks and whites. But you know what? Think about it. The last civil war, I, 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 last I, thought, I remember there was white generals on the Confederate side, white generals on the Union side. Uh, they were they were fighting each other. So it wasn't they fighting each other as one race color skin toward another group with a different color skin. And I don't know why they think that it would be that way again, because what we really understand it really wasn't a war about black people versus white people. It was versus the, the understanding of freedom versus non-freedom. Some will sit there and listen to this video and say, no, it was about state rights. Right, state rights to enslave people. State rights to have human trafficking. But that's really what that is, right? Slavery is human trafficking. Traffic scene, trafficking, right? So, they, so it was a, and, and then we really boiled down to a war against right and wrong. Because everybody, to include if you love yourself, nobody wants to be a slave, right? Not I'm aware of. If you love yourself, you don't want to be a slave, right? So, Obviously, it was a war between right and wrong. And if there is a civil war in in this time, this modern time, it'll be the same thing again, the, the issue between right and wrong. Because you can't sit there and say, you you if you fight, but you can fight, you fight to, 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 because you want to oppress some other people, you want to give other people the right to be free, the right to vote, the right to apply for jobs, compete for jobs, right, to, to, to be wealthy, right, to have a good living income, right, to, to, to speak, freedom of speech. Huh? I mean, think about it. What, what would be the war about? It's about somebody who wants to say, I want to be better, I'm better than you, and therefore I'm going to fight to do that. But it's, it's really going to be a war against right and wrong. That's that's the whole point. I'm just telling you. I mean, you got black people that are Republicans, and I don't know. I, I, in fact, sometimes it makes me try to understand what they, why they are. But that's a different story. They have reasons for it. Some would just be have a political position concerning conservatism. Concern, and I, I'm not sure what they, when they say conservatism, is it mean? Uh, keep other people in power, or the fact is that. I don't want, I guess in some cases, say I don't want to help, I don't want nobody to give me, I want to earn it, and which is fine. I, I don't think anybody on the on the Democratic side or the liberal side is saying that. What they're saying is, don't hinder me from trying to to uh, provide for myself. Don't don't tie a hand behind my back. Don't discriminate against me. Don't try to create a systematic system is going to keep me from being successful. That's all I think most people on the Democratic side is saying. And then I think the conservative side is, don't give handouts, right? That's fine. But don't don't hinder me from trying to be successful. Don't, that's the, I think that's what's more important, is that give me, move obstacles out of the way or make sure those obstacles are equal to everybody across the board. That's the point. So those people who support uh, the, the African-Americans or minorities that support, support conservatism, I understand you're saying you don't want a handout. <laughs> 
but don't race. Don't, I hope you're not saying it's okay to race your profile somebody because it's, it's not right. I don't think it's right to shoot somebody as an arm. That's not right. I don't think it's right to, to for racism. That's not right. So I hope you're not standing for that, but that's the stuff time people try to understand. What, what are you standing for? If the other groups seem to have a, a propensity to do that, but maybe they're not. And if, if that's not what they're all about, that's fine too. But everybody's not trying to get a handout. I don't have a handout. I go to work, I do my work. You know, but I do see there was people trying to hinder people, cheat on people, keep people down. That's something you got to look out for, amen? So think about that. But just remember, do you love yourself? And if you love yourself, then you should love your neighbor just the way you love yourself. Meaning, as far as least in conservatism, let me compete for the job and don't discriminate against me because of the color of my skin. Review my potential. Review my abilities. And let's do that. And then for our education system coming up all the way from kindergarten to, to college. Don't try to sit there and put me in a box and label me and say I'm no good. So, I mean right from the back at the beginning. No, I have potentials. We all have potentials. Amen? So, love your neighbors yourself. Think about it. And we're going to put a scripture in because somebody else said, said, man, it may talk 10 minutes and you said, no scripture. So I want to put this right here in here. This is this is very important for us to read before I go. It says here, starting in verse 9, as the Father has loved me, so have I love you. Continue in my love. If you keep my commandments, you should abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandment and abide in his love. These things I've spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, that your joy might be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. <laughs> Greater love is no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth, I call you not servants, for the servants knoweth not what his Lord does us. But I've called you friends for all things that I have heard of my Father I have made known unto you. You have not chosen me, but I've chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. That whatsoever you ask from the Father in my name, he may give it you. These things I command you, that you love one another. You know, that's what the, the, the Word of God, that's what Christ said. I mean, if Jesus Christ is your Lord, he's the one that says to love one another. And it coincides with the great commandment and to love your neighbor yourself. So love yourself. If you don't love yourself, then I understand. Because it's hard to love somebody if you don't even love yourself. So you have to ask yourself, and this, as I wrap this video, is this. Do you love yourself? Is Jesus Christ your personal Lord and Savior? And if he's not your personal Lord and Savior, still, still have to ask the question, do you love yourself? And if you love yourself, treat others the same way you treat yourself. Amen? All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will catch you later. Amen. God bless. Bye-bye.